John Les here of Les Archery Adventures. Series testing, successful hunting. Today I've got another cool head to test. It's by Slick Trick. It's the Slick Trick Wicked Trick Stainless Steel. I think I've now tested every Slick Trick model there is at least once, and they've come out with a stainless steel model of each of their fixed blade heads, and I believe this is the last one uh, that I have yet to test in a stainless steel, the Wicked Trick. Really wicked looking broadhead here. Eager to check it out. So uh, for my testing, I'm gonna be using my regimen for 2025. And for a detailed description of that, please check out the video that I posted earlier this year called 2025 broadhead test process and it'll explain it all to you that way i don't have to go through everything each and every time and for all the shooting i'm going to be using my elite carbon eon that i'm just loving except for the flight testing i'm going to be using my killer instinct logics 435 crossbow for all the the shooting i'm going to be using my bishop archery arrows and bolts okay let's zoom on in here check out this wicked trick and then put it to the test. Here's a good look at the Wicked Trick. And man, this is a cool looking broadhead right here. It's like a wicked combination of a Viper Trick and a Grizz Trick, I suppose. Uh, this is the stainless steel model. So all the Slick Tricks have come out with a stainless steel model recently, just so you don't have to worry about uh, the elements. You know, If you live in a, a humid climate, you spend a lot of days out in rainy woods or something with, uh, with stainless steel, you just don't have to worry about that kind of a uh, deterioration of steel as you would with a carbon steel. They're not quite as impact resistant, I've found, the ferrules especially, um, as the carbon steel, but they, uh, you know, everything's a trade-off. They certainly have their advantages and are certainly really uh, strong just the same. So again, this is all steel, all stainless steel. The, uh, the cutting diameter is uh, one and a quarter inches by one and one sixteenths inches for a total cut of two and five sixteenths inches. That's a lot of cut for a fixed blade broadhead and it's got this uh as they become famous for slick tricks alcatraz blade lock system where the blades interlock like this one slides inside this one and then they're all clamped down with a little o-ring at the bottom so it's a it's a fantastic blade retention system so much better than just the blade sliding into place in the ferrule the overall length is 1.2 inches so pretty short profile as well slick tricks were they say the first to come out with a really super short compact style a lot of others have followed since then and the blades are 0.035 inches thick and they're all replaceable blades so for resharpening i would use the stay sharp guide gray guide for this it would work really well with uh, with actually any of the slick tricks I believe the gray guide would work well. And the price for these, they're uh, a pack of three is $47.99. Really eager to put this head to the test and see how it performs. The Wicked Trick got the nine ring. It only took 102 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 10 on a 10 point scale, plus a bonus of 0.98 points for being under the threshold of 200. And it makes it one of the sharpest blades I've ever tested. It penetrated seven and a half inches. It took an additional 42 grams of force to cut through the wire, which is a 9.16 on a 10 point scale. And it's gonna get a two point bonus for both the sharpness and the edge retention being under the threshold of 200. It penetrated through 60 layers, which is an 8.57 on a 10 point scale. But let me tell you, that's really impressive for such a big cut and for such a short profile broadhead. Like it's different if a really long, narrow broadhead penetrated through that. But this is where in this case, man, the, that full cut is passing through the vast majority of those layers. Really impressive penetration. 
head is in pristine condition after the three shots through the MDF. And here it is after the two shots through the steel plate. The bride head held together really well. The blade stayed in place. The tip got a little bit of a, a blunting there, and you can see a little bit of edge chatter on the main blades, but it held together very well. And then you can see the holes. It doesn't make the square chunk hole like a, a VPA Omega or a Tooth of the Arrow, for example. Yet, man, this is a really nice hole nonetheless, especially when you see that one and a quarter inch cut across the middle of it. Here it is after all the durability testing, and man, this head just did really well, like all the slick tricks do. Did great through the MDF, great through the steel plate, and into the cinder block, it penetrated well, and there's just a slight bend there. You can see the tip curled over a bit in, uh, in the cinder block, but I imagine that wouldn't have even happened had it been the, uh, the, the carbon steel model. This is a stainless steel model, and so it's a little bit softer, I found, in a hard impact. But my goodness, we're splitting hairs here. Just very impressive durability. So what'd you think? Man, it's another winner. All these slick trick, especially their fixed blade heads, are just so good. I mean, they're they're just effective and they've been around for a while. It's easy to overlook them and take them for granted, kind of like Exodus. You know, I kind of go, yeah, give me something new. And then I test the Exodus. I'm like, oh my gosh, that head's incredible. That's how I feel every time I test the Slick Trick. They just perform extremely well and at a really good price point. So I, uh, I love testing this one. It's something really worth checking out and considering if it should go in your quiver. So you check out the score sheet and see how it performed in the areas that might matter to you the most and see if it might be a good fit for you and your setup and your hunting needs. And stay tuned for the overall cumulative score as well as the corresponding LUSK grade. And stay tuned for a list of all the discount codes that I can offer just to help you save some money on your next broadhead purchase. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you next time.